Well, greetings, gang, and welcome back to another episode of 52 Puzzles. Today, I am bringing you a very interesting puzzle. This is called the Locking Cube Puzzle, and uh, it's a pretty old puzzle, a uh, classic puzzle. What you have here are six pieces that are basically locked together with wooden dowels. Uh, the dowels are generally attached to the pieces, but there is one dowel uh, that is standalone by itself. So it's six pieces plus one dowel. It's really two puzzles in one. The first is how do you get this apart? <laughs> and it's a fairly uh, decent challenge in itself, but it comes apart like this. You find this dowel that is the standalone dowel, it happens to be this one here on the top, and uh, pull that out. So that's the first piece. And then again, it's pretty locked together because many of these other pieces have dowels attached to them. But you'll discover that in fact this piece pulls off. And you see there's that dowel that's attached. And uh, then the puzzle comes apart pretty easy. So, uh, demonstrate that here. There we go. And there we go. So you see we've got six pieces here. And they're different shape pieces uh, with holes that receive these dowels from each of the pieces in different locations. And the puzzle is how do you get this back together into its cube form? This is a very difficult puzzle. I would give this a level four out of five on my personal rating, meaning a good solution time on this is approaching one hour. And indeed, it did take me more than an hour to solve this puzzle. So, uh, it's a cool puzzle. It's, uh, again, not too many pieces, so it's a good one for the coffee table or desktop. Uh, I am going to show you the solution to this puzzle. As always, if you don't want to see the solution, then I encourage you to turn off the video now. I thank you for watching. But if you would like to see the solution, hang in there because here it comes. Okay, so the solution to the locking cube puzzle. And I've seen these puzzles actually in different sizes. This, I like this size. This is about, about two and a half inches square. So it's, it's a good size to work with. I've seen them smaller, I've seen them larger. Uh, they're all the same puzzle, you know, just different sizes. Uh, this puzzle also happens to be two-tone, so the, the wood pieces are, are different tones, so it looks kind of cool when it's assembled. So, solution to the puzzle goes like this. Again, we have these six pieces, and I'm going to lay them out uh, according to their different sizes. Uh, so this, I'm going to call the this, this T-shaped piece with the dowel coming out of the middle, that'll be the first piece. And then uh, this piece that doesn't have any dowels, it's an L-shaped piece, call that piece number two. And then the third shape piece is this L shape that has a dowel on either side of the L. That'll be piece number three. Uh, then the fourth piece is, in fact, uh, this piece here, the L with the dowel at the bottom. So I'm going to lay that there. And similarly, this is uh, the fifth piece, also an L, but with the dowel going the other direction. And then finally, the sixth piece, which looks uh, a little bit like a Z with one dowel, P6. So, again, it's only six pieces, so the, uh, the solution is pretty simple. But again, there's so many uh, variations to assembling these pieces, it makes it a very difficult uh, puzzle to, to actually solve. Solution goes like this. We're going to start with, I'm going to set these aside. We'll start with this, uh, this T-shaped piece and uh, with the dowel in the center. It's going to receive this second piece, this L-shape, 
I'm going to lay, you see that hole that goes through the middle of the L here, I'm going to lay that right on top of the dowel with this, this L-shaped piece facing up. So it goes like that. Then the third piece is going to be uh, this piece here, this L that has the dowel on both sides. And I'm going to flip that up so the L is sitting on the table. And I'm going to slide this dowel through that hole there. That is the third step. So we have three pieces assembled. The fourth piece is going to be uh, basically this piece. That, so if you take the L, it's got the dowel at the top, but I'm going to turn it upside down and uh, it's going to, this dowel is going to be inserted right here at the bottom of this first T piece. So it goes like this. Oops. Hold on. Okay. And then the fifth piece is going to be the other L-shaped piece, again with, uh, with this dowel. I'm going to flip it this direction, okay, and the dowel is going to go into the middle of this L that we just placed. So it, it's going in there and then this hole is going to receive that dowel. Voila! And then the last piece, I think you can see what's going to happen here. Uh, this dowel is going to go there. This dowel is going to go into this hole. And um, it will fit just like this. It's a little, sometimes the last piece is a little tight going in. But there you have it. And then finally we do have this hole that's going to go all the way through and receive this last dowel. And that's going to keep everything together nice and solid. And there you have it, the solution to the locking cube puzzle. Pretty cool puzzle. Um, one of my, my favorites, actually. So there you have it. I thank you for tuning in today. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm a new channel. 52 puzzles. My intention is to bring you a different puzzle every week. So again, thanks, and until next time, keep on puzzling!